how easy is it to set up a layout in a launchpad? Well, layouts add better UX options for mobility and desktop. It's quite easy to customize and brand any layout and launchpad that you might want to. It's codeless and anyone can do it. You can set up your corporate color schema and use it automatically. You can see the live preview of your changes live. No CSS or coding knowledge is ever needed. So let's start by going to the cockpit and open the media library. Here we're going to add some resources. Basically some images that we collected from an example. The example we chose was the Ferrari website. So we're going to Ferrari website and we collected some images and logos. We upload them into the platform and there they are inside a folder. Now let's go and create a launchpad. You can see all multiple layouts that you can have in one single place. Let's go to the cockpit, look for con run launchpad and create a new launchpad called Ferrari Demo. Add some description and create launchpad. The launchpad is now created, although it's empty. So let's go into our layouts. Create a new layout. Give it a name and a description. On the right hand side, you can see and preview different desktops and mobile clients. So that the changes that you do on the left hand side are immediately visible. So we start with a plain launchpad. Before that, let's create some color schemas. You can create up to 10 different customized color schemas. So let's give it a name. And let's pick some colors. For that purpose, let's go into the Ferrari website. And let's use a color picker tool that you can add as an extension to your browser to pick the colors of the website. Let's pick the red, get the hexadecimal code for it. Add it to the color set. There goes the Ferrari red. Let's find what other colors do they use. Let's just confirm that the black they use is really the black color. And yes, it is. And let's go back to the Ferrari website and find other colors. Let's pick this red. And let's add it to the color palette. We should find as well the gray and the yellow. And obviously the white. Let's find the yellow now. Let's see if other parts of the website have different colors. Usually this should be not more than four or five different colors. Sometimes companies use color variations. That can be automatically also calculated as we call it shading. And there's the yellow.
and let's go back and add it. That should be enough for now. Let's save it. And let's go back to the layout. On the top right hand side, you can see if you already have something that you are on edit mode. Now you can see on the color schema, the layout. I choose the color schema for Ferrari and automatically pre-populated the website, the launchpad with the color schema. You can always pick individual colors at any given point. And in this case, you should do so. That background is way too red. Here's a color variation, not what we are looking for. So white will do. Let's add now some pictures to the background. So this is divided in three different places, three different tabs. Now I'm adding a picture to the background. And as you can see there on top, you have common, desktop and mobile. What this means is that you have different properties when you're running on desktop and properties when you're running on mobile. The process of creating your own layout should not take more than a few minutes since you can exactly see the end result while you're doing it. So it's very easy to see what will be the outcome. So in this case, I added the picture to the back. I'm now I'm trying to the red or there on top to see how it looks. So you have on the top menu, you have different logos and you're going to have logos for desktop and logos for mobile. Logos for desktop that can be wider, although they have a limitation of the height. While for mobile, they should be shorter, typically 36 by 36. Here's a good example. You can see the Ferrari there on top, and you can vary the size of the screen using the scroller on top or by adding directly an input field with the actual pixels of your device. Let's add some other properties. So the left hand bar, desktop notifications, all of this can be changed. And it's quite see easy to see the outcome. The best is for you to pick a already existing launchpad, not necessarily the one you just created, one that has tiles, one that has notifications, and practice. Open apps, see how it looks, add notifications, etc. It's quite easy to see the results as you are changing the properties. It's very straightforward, so let's use here something. Let's see the right bar, sidebar, left sidebar, it's where you open the applications. Let's see the common and let's see what are the other properties. Let's now choose a different launchpad and simulate. Let's pick one from mobile. Maybe this one. No, let's go up and this one. This should have some applications. And you can see immediately the tile groups being generated and the applications. The tile groups are not changed by your layout. The layout of the tile groups will be changed directly on each one of the tiles or on the tile group. But we'll get to that in a moment. So let's see how it looks. Well, it looks pretty nice. Let's now go to our launchpad and add the layout that we just created to the launchpad. How do you do that? On the launchpad, you'll go in edit mode. Same thing on the mobile client. And then you have ability to add multiple layouts. Why multiple layouts? The one on top will be the default layout that will show up to the end user. Although you can add multiple layouts and the multiple layouts will be able to be chosen by the end user directly. And that choice will be kept on their device, either being a mobile client or a desktop. So let's add some tile groups just to add content to it. And here you can also change the hierarchy. Let's run it and looks beautiful. Let's go. OK. You might disagree of the yellow there on top. I do too. But its ability here is that you can try it and change it according to the spec. On the right hand side, you can navigate through the different tile groups. And that's the, called the right hand sidebar. And it's very straightforward to do this. OK, this looks very good. Let's now go back. And let's 
do some uh, tile groups. Now let's create a new tile group. You go to cockpit, run tile group. Let's create a new one. And on this tile group, you'll find layouts. These layouts are different. Let's add first a title and a subtitle. The layouts on the tiles give the most of the properties that you'll find on the tile group, not on the underlying tiles. Now let's go to the layout. See, so you have different types of tile cards. You can also choose directly from the color set that you had created before. Here you can see the different shades within the color code. So you have the primary color and then you have shades of the primary color. And you can enable shade calculation. This will calculate a gradient of the, your primary color over the tiles. Then you can have some properties. Enable horizontal scrolling, full screen, and then you have the different tile group headers. Here you have colors and you have images. So if you use a transparent image, a PNG, you can combine that with a background color. Let's try just that. So we uploaded this one. It's pretty big. Let's see how it looks. You can say that you want to fixate the desktop background image to the right edge so that the tile group description and title will show up on the left hand side. This will give a nice looking overlaying header. Let's add a picture. I want it in white as a background and the title color. You can pick also different title colors. Black might suit it. Let's give it a try. All of these layouts are deployable and reusable, not only in desktop, but also on mobile. So you can deploy this through your, throughout your landscape and immediately have it reflected on mobile clients and on desktop launchpads. Let's pick different logos. For You have the options for tablet, mobile, and desktop. You can also find all the information directly on that little question mark there. You have the embedded documentation of the platform. So let's add some tiles to our tile group. Let's pick something. Let's add a few more. Maybe not human capital. Let's try something else. Let's try, hmm, let's see. Let's try something that I have created. So some explore tiles, that's fine. I'll be good for now. Save. Go back to the launchpad and now add the tile group that we have just created. And there it is. Add it and let's drag it to the top. I want to be the default one. Save. Let's run the launchpad. And there it is. As we can expect, the image is too big and the background is white, so it gives a huge banner on top. We don't want that. Let's fix it. Let's go back to the layout and do a couple of changes. First, let's go to the tile group layout and let's say, maybe I don't want the header background color to be like that. I can either remove or say set transparent. This will for sure help. Let's refresh it. Well, two cars on top of each other is still very big. So let's upload a new image that I had prepared before, which is the same image, but smaller. The width of the image is not so important, but the height makes the difference. There is no scaling for the height. So if you upload a big one, it will show up a big one. And Ferrari, and there you go. Small, mobile background, background image, seems fine. Let's try this one, it's small as well, just so that it keeps everything in the same way. Let's save it, and let's run it. 
F5. And as you can see, top right hand side, you have the image, you have the different tiles that you add to it with the scaling of the color of the primary color of the tile group that came from the color palette. So everything is connected. So if you change the color on your color palette, that will be automatically propagated everywhere else. In a mobile, it will look exactly the same. You can see the change in colors of the tiles, you can see the header, and how does this apply to the mobile client? If you go to mobile client layouts, you have exactly the same UI. And on the right hand side, you can even simulate the layout. And you can see immediately the results. Let's save, and automatically that will be deployed to all devices. You can see how great it looks. Very, very easy. Thank you for now.